What's up guys, this is Tariq from smartbiketrainers.com and uh, today uh, Trainer Road officially launched a bunch of features uh, to all their customers. Uh, one of them is the ability to import all your rides, indoor and outdoor rides, uh, to Trainer Road from uh, Garmin Connect or Strava. And the other feature is called uh, Performance Analytics and that includes a uh, training stress chart uh, personal records and a redesigned uh, ride page. So let's head to the computer and take a look at all these new features. So this is the uh, Train Road new career page and as you see here uh, in the career page you will see the, the summary of your career uh, the, and the first section of this page you will see your last ride and the next workout that you have on in your schedule if you uh, selected the workout uh, plan. Uh, or if you enrolled in a workout plan. And uh, the bottom here, you'll see the new training stress uh, chart. And uh, we'll dig into that in a little bit, uh, in just a little bit. But the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is uh, Trainer Road. If you have your Strava and Garmin uh, connected to your Trainer Road account, then Trainer Road went ahead and imported all your ride data. If you didn't do that, you can do that if you go to account and uh, just wait for it to load and ride sync. And here uh, you can just connect and authorize uh, Strava and Garmin Connect to communicate with a trainer road. Now, if you only have your rides in Garmin, you might have an issue uh, importing all your uh, ride history because of uh, Garmin limitations with uh, uh, import, uh, because of Garmin limitations. Uh, but in my case, I had uh, most of my rides uh, all the way back to 2015, I believe, uh, in Strava. So I have uh, plenty of data to look at here. So if you don't have all your rides uh, and in Garmin, but you have them in zip files, what you can do is you can import all your rides using a zip file and, and that just come to pass rides and click on import rides and this pop-up window, you can just drag that zip file and import it here. And uh, Train Road will go ahead and crunch that data for you and make it available all in your career. And uh, one thing to also note, Trainer Road uh, did uh, put on a lot of work to eliminate duplicate rides. So if you have a ride on Garmin and a ride on Strava, you're not going to see both rides in Trainer Road. Trainer Road will select uh, one of these rides and uh, save it in your career. So now let's go back to career and take a look at the new training stress chart. And the first thing you'll notice in the training stress chart is a different, different uh, green colors. And the lighter green represent uh, other workouts that were done outside of Trainer Road, and the darker green represent the uh, Trainer Road uh, workouts. And uh, you'll see that uh, you'll also see these gray, uh, gray uh, color diamonds, and those represent uh, FTP changes. So if you did an FTP test and you updated your FTP score, you'll see that in here and you will see the new FTP, the old FTP, and the percent change. And in the chart below that, you'll see a week by week uh, TSS or training stress score and a total of uh, for each week. And you'll see uh, some, some of these rides have a green dot next to them. Those also represent rides that were done outside of Trainer Road. So if we go to this week, for example, let's just highlight this week and you'll see the highlighted uh, week in here. And this week it has um, one of these rides on Tuesday that was done outside of Trainer Road. And then I have a couple of more rides that were done on Trainer Road and another ride on Sunday that was done outside of Trainer Road. And if you click on that, you can click on either one of these boxes here or you can just click on, one, uh, on the chart itself and it will bring up the rise for that week as well as the rise statistics on top. You will see the total stress score and the total stress score that came from Trainer Road Workouts and total stress score from other workouts that were imported. Then you'll also see a six week average and a six week daily average as well. So this is everything on the uh, career page. Uh, let's go now to take a look at personal records. And to do personal records, uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, create seasons. And to do that, just uh, the trainer road made it very simple. So you can just come here and give a season name, a start date for your season and an end date. So if your season 
start and end January 1st uh, to through December 31st. You can enter that. If it start on March 1st, assuming you want to track your build to Kona, for example, and you start March 1st all the way to Kona, you can enter the start and end date uh, in October and you will have your seasons here. In my case, I just did January to December just to make it easy and uh, let's take a look at that. So on the drop down boxes here, you can select the season you want to compare. So if you want to look at some, I'm looking here at 2000 and let's change that to 2016. So I need to change that to 2017 first and I'm going to do the 2016 here. So now I have 2016, 2017 and the current season. And as you move your mouse over this chart, uh, you will see, say, we're going to stop at 10 minutes and 10 minutes. Now you will see your uh, PRs. Uh, so in, in this case, I have a PR uh, on a race I did on Zwift for 287 watts uh, this year. And then 2017, and I had my best 10 minute PR of 290. And then you will see a comparison between 2018 and 2017. You can see, as you see, I have a three watt drop and 2018 to 2016, there was an increase of one watt. Uh, and as you're looking through the just, looking uh, through looking at the chart you can see where things uh, where you have an improvement and or not in my in my in, in my case here not so much of an improvement and on top here you can also you can select the endurance which uh, calculate your PR from one minute all the way to five ten hours two hours five hours or if you want just to look at the sprints uh, you can compare uh, sprints from one second all the way to 30 seconds or you can just look at the total and uh, you will see uh, all your PRs in here. So let's go back to endurance and uh, Trainer Road also added a season match. So when you turn on season match you can compare the same period of time in your current season to the same period of time in a past season. So let's take a look at for example the three minute uh, PR, my, my three minute PR. And, and before selecting season match, you can see here, uh, I have a PR on March 13th and a PR on September 12th of 2017 and another one on September 19th of 2016. If I select season match, what what's gonna happen now is Trainer Road will compare the three my three minute PRs in the same time period. So in this case, uh, the Trainer Road pulled my PRs during the same time period and the, Dates are not going to be the exact, but it's going to be around that same couple weeks difference. So in this case, March 13th was my best three minute PR this year. Uh, last year was February 21 and the, pre the year before that was April 14th. So it's around that same time frame. The next part is past rides. And this is another area train road improved. So let's open one of these rides. And this is uh, the climb, uh, the Alp to Zwift uh, climb. And as you see, the graph above gives you the full ride with power, heart rate, and cadence data. And on the right, you will see the full ride statistics. So you'll see the duration, your normalized power, power average, uh, heart rate, cadence, and, and all that information. And now if you want to uh, zoom into a specific area, all you need to do is just bring that mouse over that area, drag it to the right, and you can just come in just hold the mouse and move that line, that blue line to where you want it to end. So we're just gonna keep it here. Do that again. Okay, why? This is a lot easier than it is. I'm just having trouble holding my mouse. Okay, so here we go. And now you can zoom in and you'll see all that information. Uh, uh, and you can add interval. Uh, give that interval name. I did that already for this ride, so I have it here. And when you click on it, it will bring up the map. So this is the climb. And you will see uh, some information on that segment. Uh, so uh, the average gradient is 9%. Elevation, total elevation was 3,356 feet. Uh, normalized power, power and heart rate, and all that information is out there in front of you. And if you scroll down, 
you will see uh, personal records and uh, comparing it to previous seasons. So in this case, you will see personal records from 2018. That red line represents the Alpha Swift climb. Uh, I, not much, uh, not a lot of records here for, uh, but you will see uh, for the short, for like a one minute, two minute, because you're, you're, I was just pacing myself. And till towards the end, you will like towards the one hour. So yeah, if you click on the one hour, uh, you'll see uh, on March, the Alpha Swift climb was 255 watts. And on January or April 13th, I had a, a Zwift race that, uh, where I averaged 267 watts for that full one hour. Uh, so it's closer to my P, it's closer to PR, but not exactly a PR. Uh, so, and if you click on view details, you'll see all these rides uh, where you hit those PRs. So this is a Zwift Kiss America uh, race that I did back in 2017, where I hit that PR for that one hour. And that's it. So the, also the uh, other area that I wanted to share with you here is if you go to the workouts and uh, let's take a look at this workout, for example, uh, on the right side here, you'll see uh, where that workout uh, uh, is available, which training plans uh, you will find this workout. And if you scroll down, you will also see uh, the different workout variations. So you have Phoenix one, two, Phoenix minus one, uh, and also if you click on my rides, this will view, will show you how many times you did this workout. So this is pretty cool and easy, quick way to just show you what you did and how many, uh, what you did for uh, each of these workouts. And if you click on all rides, you will also see all uh, trainer road users uh, who did this workout. So this is it. Uh, obviously, all these changes are geared towards cyclists, uh, not so much towards uh, multi-sport athletes. Uh, uh, so, uh, if you're a cycle, if you're a pure cyclist and you use Trainer Road and you have additional accounts such as Strava or Training Peaks, would uh, this, will these changes uh, make you uh, discontinue using uh, Training Peaks or or uh, any other tool out there to and just use a Trainer Road by itself? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you next time.